for anyone who is diagnosed with dementia. It is not a death sentence. It is what you make it. So my mother, Marty, got dementia in her uh, early 80s. Um, my mother is 91. I thought it was the diagnosis about two years ago with dementia. For dementia that I've been living under for a number of years now, uh, I have seen it before I had it because my mother died from it. And I watched her go through what she did. For me personally, I don't look at myself as being a dementia person. Uh, it's, it's not that, it's, it's just one of those things. You know? <laughs> so when we moved my mother into our home, it was an easy adjustment at first because I just wanted to care for her and make life better for her. It got a little more difficult as every day I experienced the constant questions over and over and over. I'm the one with the Alzheimer's. She's the one that suffers from it. And it's places like Mind Matters that make the difference. They work on me, but it's helping her. It is very important in our mission that we support these families in their entire journey. So wherever they enter, for example, they enter Minds Matter and they're very high functioning or have maybe mild cognitive impairment, we don't want to leave them alone in the journey. We know that families, uh, many, many families, want their loved ones to stay at home as long as possible. We support that and we want to make sure they have what they need to do it. You know that your loved one is going to be in a safe environment for four hours. They're going to be singing songs, they're going to be exercising. When she leaves here, she comes out singing, she comes out with a little step, you know, <laughs> little dance moves. She's just happy. One thing that um, Jerry really enjoys at Minds Matter is being with other people that are in kind of the same boat with him. And he's met another industrial engineer out there. And so that, you know, the two of them bonded over that. I mean, it's just, such a great connection that you have with the staff, you know, and the volunteers are amazing. It's amazing. It's a different person, really a different person, because he, he was afraid. And it started that difference the first day that he's coming here. Anybody looking for a program for their loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia, I would highly recommend Minds Matter just because I know that they have the spiritual side of wanting people to feel a sense of belonging and to feel like there's hope and that you're being listened to and they understand what you're going through and they understand dementia and Alzheimer's. They know how to talk to your loved one. I couldn't recommend it enough because they're getting so much one-on-one -on -one attention that maybe you're too tired to give, too exhausted because of what you're going through with it. They're very uplifting and they make you feel like there's hope out there. The most important for me is that he have a quality life, so he will be happy all of his life.
for the rest of his life is the most important for him. I want to be a beacon of hope for anyone who is diagnosed with dementia. Open your head. Go. These people in Minds Matter, they are, are so loving and so helpful, so dedicated. Uh, I just can't say enough good things about them. What is the hope I see in them? Takes me to moments of hope that we talk about every day with our team. Moments of hope come when they start singing, and all of a sudden there's, there's rhythm, and there's communication, and there's laughter. I always get emotional about this, but it is, it is true um, magic that happens. And if they're at home in front of a television all day, the person is missing that. I hope that we can all uh, live a life with a quality of life that allows us to thrive to our last breath. Our world gets so much smaller as you age anyway, but when you age with Alzheimer's or dementia, your world is this big. It still doesn't mean it's over. There's still a smile in there. There's still something they can do, and that's what we focus on. Life isn't over when you have dementia. Life is just different.